Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And what would you say if I told you that you could add multiplayer to any single player game with the click of a button? If you said, Mike, you're a damned liar, well, you're only half right. What we're looking at today is something called GOMPS, the Generic Online Multiplayer System, and it does. It actually allows you to add rudimentary, very, very basic multiplayer uh, to games, single-player games. Now, there are some catches right now. It is only for Unity games, and it is very simple multiplayer, but they're actually working on adding Unreal Engine support as well. So you can see, you search your Steam library, you pick a game such as Grow Home, and then, boom, people can come and join you in your game. See these little floating heads? They they can actually navigate around, watch what you are doing as you play, and they can leave notes for other people in the world. It, again, it's very primitive multiplayer, but it really will change the gameplay experience, especially like if you're a streamer and you want to have a little bit more interaction with uh, some of your viewers, for example. They can actually be in the game, interacting with other people that are in the game, watching you from within the game. Now, to send messages, you have to relay it through their website, which is kind of unfortunate, but you can do it parallel with a uh, phone app, for example. Uh, and again, it is confined to Unity games only. But I think this is just really cool. It's not really game development per se, but it's cool. So I decided to share it anyway. So you basically got these little floating heads that can participate in your world. This is early access. It should be up literally uh, any day now. I'll get to some of the developer tweets in just a second. But again, GOMP stands for Generic Online Multiplayer System. It allows you to add basic multiplayer functionality to any single player Unity game with zero or minimal configurations. This means you're able to see other players around you in the game world in real time. That's with the little GOMPs blobs identified by their Steam ID. GOMPs Manager app makes it easy to uh, find all the compatible games. You can easily enable or disable GOMPs in any game from your Steam library or drop any other game EXE onto the GOMPs Manager window for manual installs. Uh, you can also write notes and leave them throughout the game world. You can communicate with other players asynchronously and leave hints. To do this, you need to use the GOMPs Companion website. Uh, you can use this website from a mobile device, from Steam Overlay Browser, or any other way you choose. Uh, this way, you can write notes without having to pause the game. It relies on crowdsource configurations to make each game look as good as possible. A lot of games work with zero configuration. Uh, first person games usually work right out of the box. Uh, pretty much any genre can be made compatible with GOMPs with a custom configuration. This includes third party games, 2D side scrolls, top down games, etc. Currently only supports the Unity game engine, but hopefully in the future there will be support for other engines like Unreal Engine. That is just really freaking cool. Uh, it looks like it's Windows only. I don't know if it'll work, say, on a Steam Deck. Probably will, but we will find out. In terms of when this is actually going to be available, uh, here is the developer, Raya Kuparta. Um, and you can see here, a side project I've been working with for my free time. GOMPS is a tool that adds basic online multiplayer features to any Unity game with the press of a button. Here is Firewatch, uh, Obra Dinn, uh, and Ying Yinglet. Uh, so you can see it running in various different games. Again, it brings you in. And the cool thing is it's actually matching the art style or the aesthetic of the game that your little floating gomp is in. Uh, I don't know, again, the actual process of doing this, how hard it is to host or to join or to share the addresses or whatever. But I do think the concept is very cool. Uh, Steam app page is up. It will be free and should release in the next couple of days. That comment was made two days ago. So hopefully we will see GOMPs literally any day now. And what the cool thing that really reminds me of is one of the coolest features of Stadia, may it rest in peace. Remember they were going to have spectators where people could be like, you know, fans on the sideline of a basketball game or whatever. Well, in some ways, GOMPs is allowing this. Now, there's a lot of things I don't know. How many people can you have in a game? Um, how distracting it is if you're actually playing the game? How much those people can actually troll you? Can you gate access into your game? I don't know. I won't know until it ships. But this is a cool project. I definitely figured it was worthy of a video, even if it's kind of tangential to game development. Hopefully you guys find this cool too. Uh, and hopefully it's up on Steam very, very shortly. So ladies and gentlemen, that is GOMPS, uh, Generic Online Multiplayer System, uh, currently for Steam only, uh, but coming for Unreal Engine in the future. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.